Hey folks, Alan Saunders, Steve Brenner here talking Whippy football on this Friday. We're at Walnut Grill here in Settlers Ridge. Uh, and well, this is the second week we're going to do this show, previewing week two of uh, the, the 2019 Whippy season. We've got our game of the week coming up. We've also got some picks. Uh, and first, let's, let's talk about our picks from last week. Uh, we picked four games. Uh, you went two and two. I went three and one. We yep. both missed on what we think is probably... Uh, I think it's a pretty big upset last week. Uh, Penn Trafford not just beating Gateway, but right. really dominating Gateway there in Class 5A. And then, uh, you know, uh, I think I got uh, Bethel Park, Woodland Hills uh, that you yeah. didn't get. Uh, just your, your quick thoughts from, from the four games we picked last That's, week. We also had uh, Central Catholic uh, up at uh, Seneca Valley right. and Penn Hills Trib. Yeah, I mean, you know, we, we all kind of thought Penn Trafford would be a, a good football team. I don't think we expected this, you know, and they, they jumped the rankings. They're the number one team in 5A right now, and that's, you know, it's it's great. It's good to see parity. It's good to see teams beating other teams, but I don't think either one of us had that one. Yeah, and I think also, you know, from an individual standpoint, I think Caleb has been really showed some things. Um, I think that's a player that if, if, you, if I had to pick right now a player from Western Pennsylvania that maybe look at where they've been recruited before the season and maybe look at where I think it's going to end up by the end of the season – Big difference, I, I think, for him, and I think that's uh, a team also that just – they always have that offense that's difficult to stop, uh, you know, the short passing, the spread offense uh, that's not sort of a traditional Western Pennsylvania right. high school football. So uh, I think they're they're in line to go places. Uh, and the other thing we kind of wanted to pick out from last week that we thought was a highlight, uh, up in North Allegheny. Yep. Um, the kicker, her name is Haley May Graff. She um, – in the Tigers' 42 nothing win over Norwin, she became the first female player to score a point in a varsity football game for North Allegheny. So, big congrats to her. That's a really cool accomplishment. And, you know, we're talking about, uh, in, in sort of the national sphere, talking about Carly Lloyd right now. I thought that was pretty interesting. And, uh, actually, you'll be uh, seeing North Allegheny this week. Well, you won't be seeing, but our game of the week will right. be North Allegheny this week. It, it's a good segue. And this is um, two undefeated teams. These are two of the top three teams, depending on rankings and who you look at in 6A between uh, NA and Central Catholic, but this is going to be this is going to be one for the ages as far as defenses go. Well, what did you learn from last week's Central Catholic playing Seneca Valley? Um, we learned that Seneca Valley might be better than we thought they were going to be. You know, that's a lot of us picked Central Catholic to win that game, but Seneca Valley kept it real close throughout the game. Uh, Central needed a touchdown late in the fourth quarter, and then to stop Seneca with you know whatever ten seconds left or, or whatever it was. I mean, it, it showed a lot about. Seneca, but it also showed a lot that Central Catholic can make the plays when they need to. I think especially they can make the plays when they need to on defense. Right. That defensive line we talked about last week I think has to be the best in Whippy. It might be the best in the state. I, I'd put it up against anybody's, honestly. Um, the rest of the defense has talent, too. Uh, they really get after the ball, and I think that's going to be the key for this game is whether North Allegheny can move the ball against Central Catholic's defense. But NA has a good defensive unit, too. Right, yes. Just some stats. You know, both these teams, like I said, are 2-0. and um, Through two games, NA's score differential is 63 to nothing, while Central Catholic is 52-14. to So, you know, Central has the better defense, the more talented players on defense, but, I mean, North Allegheny's defense is is playing really well right now. You know, last week against Norwin, they had eight sacks. Um, I had We had uh, Sam Sheridan. He had four and a half tackles, two and a half sacks in that game. They had two safeties in their week zero victory. So, I mean, without the fanfare and everything, NA's defense is playing really well right now. If I was going to draw up a game plan to beat that Central Catholic defense, to me, it would be talking about Penn Trafford a little bit. It would be kind of that short passing, get rid of the ball, don't let the quarterback take a ton of hits. But that's not really NA's game. They're, they're more of a running team. It isn't. Yeah, I mean, you know, uh, what was it, six touchdowns last week against Norman, five of them were on the ground. So this NA offensive line is going to go right into that teeth of that Pittsburgh Central Catholic front four, you know, front seven, whoever's in there, and they're going to see who's, who's tougher. Yeah, I think this is a great matchup, and I think it's a matchup that's going to really – uh, go a long way to determine the pecking order in Class 6A. I mean, I think Central Catholic's going to be up there. I think so far from what we've seen from North Allegheny, you would have to think that they're going to be up there. Um, but really when it comes to is there a favorite, I'm not sure there's a strong favorite at this point in the season. There might be after this game. Right, yeah, and it's the thing about 6A is any game that gets played now can be played again in the playoffs. So, you know, is there a favorite? Yeah, there's three teams that you kind of look at you just think are better than the others, but that doesn't mean anything because, you know, N.A. can play Central Catholic again in the playoffs. Then we're really going to find out, you know, who the favorite team is. But right now they're just determining seeding between these these top teams. And this game is going to be played at Shaler Middle School yep. Friday night, and that's our PS. 
PSN game of the week. We'll have coverage from there. Uh, moving on to some picks here. We, we did this last week. We didn't pick the winner of our Well, do we want to not game. pick the winner of our featured game? Uh, it's, it gives me more chances to, to beat you here. All right. All right. Let's. Okay. We can. We can go for it. All right. Well, it's, I'm going to go. I got Central Catholic in this game. I mean, it's. It might be very close to what it was last week. Seneca Valley 10-7, but it, it's going to be like that. But I, I think Central Catholic will come out. Yeah, I agree. I just think. I think North Allegheny is a better team than a lot of people think. I just think right. it's a poor matchup for a run-heavy team right. against a really a, a phenomenal defensive line, um, especially. You know, on the inside, I can't think of it. I mean, there are some teams with some talented ends that can rush right. the passer, but a couple of tackles, uh, like they've got, man, uh, it just doesn't happen. Uh, I like I like Central as well, but close. I, right. I think close again. Awesome. All right, and then uh, where else we got? It? We're going to uh, Peters at Woodland Hills next. Yep, this is um, – Peters Township is a team that came into the season with a lot of hype, a lot of expectation. Some of it was their own doing, you know, making it to the semis against uh, Penn Hills last year. But so far, Peters Township is doing what they need to do. They're winning the games that are in front of them. You know, they're climbing the rankings slowly. I think they're the, the second-ranked team in 5A. And it's Like I said, all they need to do is keep winning – the games that are in front of them all of a sudden you know they'll have West or yeah West Allegheny on their schedule to to go toward a section title then they'll have you know big playoff games and everything but right now this team is doing what they need to do and for after watching them last week they passed the eye test you know the defense is good the offense scores points Josh Casilli is one of the better wide receivers in the area it just you know I like what this team is doing right now what a tough schedule to start the year for Woodland Hills they play right. the the PA against the world game play Bethel Park who's tough um I like Woody in this one. I, I think they're too good of a team to start 0-3. They've got too much talent. Uh, and also, the Wolverine is a tough place to play. Right. Uh, I, I love that environment there. Um, I, I love the experience that those players have. Uh, you know, this, That was a team that the last two years really uh, went through like a rebuilding phase. But they've been through a lot together. And uh, I, like, I like Woodland Hills. Maybe a bit of an upset, but uh, I'll take... Take the Wolverines at home. Yep, I'm going to go with uh, Peters Township, but again, you know, it's dangerous when you back a team into a corner. You know, two section conference losses for Woodland Hills in the first three weeks is going to be really tough to come back from. Next up, we've got uh, a sort of a grudge match here. Bell Vernon at TJ down uh, in the Mon Valley. What do you see from this one? Um, I see Thomas Jefferson doesn't lose at home. <laughs> this is, you know, these are the top two teams in Class uh, 4A. Um, you know, they split the the games last season, but Thomas Jefferson is just, they're a different animal when they're at home. I mean, they're tough to beat anywhere, but if you're playing them at Thomas Jefferson, it's it's almost an impossible task. You know, I said this last week, too, when I thought Penn Trafford might be the team that could beat Gateway. I think Bell Vernon might be the team that can beat TJ right. in 4A in that, in that section, but like you said, Thomas Jefferson at home. Did you see um, the, the new Thomas Jefferson High School Bill Chirpak has a chicken stand in the cafeteria. <laughs> yep. So you can go down and get some Chirps chicken. <laughs> and uh, look, when you're that big of an institution, uh, I think I gotta, I think I gotta lean, lean that way at home on a Friday night. Although I do think. Bell Vernon is a very, very, very good team uh, that doesn't get talked about enough. To right. me, I think if I had to pick an on-field difference maker, it's the quarterback Shane Stump. Yeah, he is. Um, he had five touchdowns in his Week Zero game, and he is just one of the better dual-threat quarterbacks in the area. He's he's a difference maker for sure. So going TJ as I'm, well. I'm going to go TJ as well. And then we'll go down uh, the other side of town, Newcastle at South Fayette. Um, what can you tell me about uh, the Hurricanes coming down here for an interesting matchup? I yeah, think. Uh, you know, Newcastle's uh, climbing up the rankings in uh, in 4A. They were under 500 last year. They're looking to um, – oh, they made it into the playoffs last year, lost in the uh, in the first round. But they have two wins this season. Both of them came with scores with under uh, under 10 seconds left in the game. Two two games, two scores in the last minute to, to come out and win. So, you know, good for Newcastle. They're kind of reversing the roles a little bit. They're getting back on the winning track. But – uh, South Fayette is 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 very good with that offense. Is this a re a rebuild for them, a reload for them? How would you say they're going to come? Obviously, make it all the way to Heinz last year. Yeah, it's, I think uh, it's a reload. You know, the through a couple weeks, uh, South Fayette's quarterback. Uh, I'm going to mispronounce his name, but it's Naaman Alameda. He's second in the Whippy with 542 passing yards. Um, you know, he had a a bad game in Week Zero against Upper St. Clair, but he's rebounded nicely. You know, this team always scores a lot of points. This team's always dynamic on offense, and it's it's the same thing this year. Yeah, I think that I I love the offense there, um, and 
uh, I think that's that's one of those. I, I look at some of these trips, and man, that that there's some bus legs from from Newcastle right. to South Fayette. Uh, I'll take the Lions at home in, the, in that one. Yeah, same. And then we'll go down all the way to 1A. Imani Christian at Jeanette. Uh, the Jayhawks, uh, just down the road from me, opened up their brand new stadium. It was the last week they it was opened. last week, And yeah. uh, new new turf field for the first time. Uh, and uh, it doesn't seem like their home field advantage has been lessened any by the change in playing surface. No, it's um, Jeanette hasn't, uh, has not lost a home game since 2016, and they seem to be well on that track again this year. You know, the quarterback, James Sanders, is, is playing well. He has, uh, you know, a couple touchdowns four touchdowns last week um we mentioned it last last episode you know some of these teams had a lot of courage to take on these out of town teams you know and Amani was no different you know that maryland uh, national christian academy was a hell of a team and Amani had the guts to stand there and say we'll play you we, we don't care who you are but it's you know they're still looking to rebound they lost last week too so they're zero and two they need a, a win in a bad way yeah, I think Imani lost a lot of talent. They lost Ramon Hart, the, right. the big wide receiver. Um, and, again, uh, that, that's a place that's really hard to play. Uh, it always has been. Jeanette doesn't lose too many games at home. And I think that's uh, that's a tough place to find yourself right. right there. I'll take the Jayhawks. Yeah, Imani will get back on track eventually, but it's not going to be this week. All right, well, that's what we've got for our picks this week. Make sure uh, you chime in. Tell us your picks. Tell us how wrong you think we are. We're big boys. We can take it. The scoreboard right now, 3-1, and one, uh, two 2-2, and two, and uh, we'll see how things go from there. This week's PSN Game of the Week, again, Pittsburgh Central Catholic NA. That's up at Shaler Middle School. That's it for us this week. Don't forget to check out Walnut Grill here in Settlers Ridge. Uh, great food, uh, drinks, uh, this beautiful patio. And uh, we'll be back next week with more. Thanks, Thanks for watching. Thanks, everybody.